Welcome back everybody to another episode of Ocean's Outlast. Now sadly I went through and I did one more episode before this one and I was doing some tweaking to try to get better audio quality and video quality in OSB which is what I used to record but I didn't realize that when I was doing some of those tweaks it reset some of the other things that i needed in order to actually capture my audio so i had to get rid of that last recording and what am i oh my okay well i guess i'll start at the beginning um uh, in the last episode, we went and uh, we took out the Ender Dragon uh, because I was getting the uh, Psy mod going. I got to level 15 and I was able to do uh, the Greater Infusion and uh, Ebony and Ivory Infusion, except... The ebony and ivory only works in the end. So I went to the end to do that, and in doing so, I think I think we lost our support creeper. Oh uh, we need to uh tomb tomb. We gotta get a tombstone. None of these are good enough for him. We need to make sure he has a nice one. This one. Okay. We're gonna throw this upstairs in memory of... He didn't even get a name yet. He was too young. I can't write a name on there, which is sad, but... That is for our lost support creeper. Oh. I guess I don't need this boat here anymore. But, uh. I guess we'll just have to continue on. So, um, as I was saying, we went to the end in order to get, uh, the Psy Metal ingots. Uh, we completed a bunch of quests that gave, I got a nether star generator from one of the chests that we got. Turquoise gemstones, all sorts of this stuff. I've made a alchemical brass ingot. And I have, uh, oh, I got another smiley cloud. I'm gonna throw him down there and, uh. We'll give him a name as well with, uh, whatever you guys want. Uh, we can give him, we'll transfer the name of the support creeper to him, and I still need name suggestions, so just let me know in the comments. This is a, this is a hard loss for me. He was a, he was a very good support creeper, giving me lots of buffs, but I'll just have to, I'll have to find my way without him. Uh, in other news though, I got two Supremium Furnaces which are absolutely just ridiculous in how fast they smelt and uh the thing is with these is uh uh you know, supremium furnace is a hundred percent uh efficiency the next one up is nine thousand and one percent efficiency and the only thing I need is three blocks of Supremium. So it's really not that hard of a recipe to do as soon as I get my farm going. Uh, I'm going to throw all this stuff in here. Uh, this was everything I had prepped. And uh, the other downside is I accidentally threw my Ashic Tomb with every single one of my books into the crucible what did that just say something seems to be doing something bad and then i got a quest completed uh 
something said something was going bad. I didn't get a chance to read it. Um, okay then. I don't know. I don't know what to do with that. Uh, I, I got all kinds of this stuff completed in here. Visit the lowest depths of the world and visit the highest peaks you can find. That doesn't really matter. Uh, but what I was really trying to get into was in alchemy, finishing this. But I needed to get the theory alchemy. It says knowledge that must be used. I don't know what that knowledge is. Like, theory alchemy. I don't see that anywhere. It's knowledge that must be used, but I can't find it. Uh, because there's nothing here. It's It just says knowledge alchemy. Or theory alchemy. So... I've theorized that by infusing a base metal like iron with magical energy, it should result in something very uh, interesting properties. So, I didn't throw iron in there actually, because to make the uh, thamium ingot, I needed uh, to use mana steel. So I guess I'll just toss a piece of iron in there and just see what happens. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to be making something specific with this or not, though. Because, yeah, that just ate it. So, I guess we could try and get everything I needed for making the uh, Thamium Ingot. Which I believe, if I remember correctly, I needed... Uh, I needed an Enchanted Book and an Ancidite. And let me go into here uh we got one here because it's got the earth attribute on it and then a enchanted book which i got a power two book i could just use that because it's got that little pink magic wand and i need five of that so i'll throw both of those in there and then i guess i'll just throw an iron ingot and see if anything happens because i don't know what else i need to do yeah, no, it's just eating the iron ingot. So, I don't know what to do for that. This, uh, theory alchemy. Because... I, I don't have to throw that in there to make the, this, uh, thamium ingot. So, metals have been proven to be quite easy to ma manipulate via, via thamium principles. My first experiments have led to the discovery of alchemical brass, which I had gotten. But it was a simple matter to create something that already exists. It is time to create something new. I have theorized by taking, by infusing a base metal like iron with magical energy should result in something with very interesting properties. It should be harder than iron with the ability to accept enchantments beyond that which iron is normally capable of. A metal such as this should have many applications in the crafting of more advanced thama mm. thaumatological devices however you say that now i have went through and tried to get more knowledge points that's why i've got this here so i could just scan everything but i don't think i can learn anything new from what i have in my uh, place here still like I'm occasionally getting a couple of things that I might have done different from uh, in here but it's like okay I guess uh, I didn't go through and learn the animals what about this grown wheat I got uh, no I'm harvesting it which is not what I was trying to do so yeah that didn't uh that didn't help me out there so i tried going through and learning all of that stuff i tried maxing that all out but it did nothing for me so i don't know if that i needed to do this and this is how the crafting recipe has to be in order to get past this 
because I need to get to the metal metal purification before I can do uh, the this I, before I can get the capacitor. Because in order to get that, I need to get the native copper cluster. And right now, if I throw copper in there, it just eats it. It doesn't do anything for me. And I have no way of making an automatic crucible right now because that's just uh, not in the cards. This is everything I would need to make an automatic crucible. And it's just, uh, that's all of it. It's not, in the, it's not in the cards right now. So let's go back here. And uh, I'm going to have to just try and tinker around with this a little bit more and see if there's anything that I can do. Because, like I said, I went through all of this and nothing was working. Um, I don't know if I could try to throw this and this in there and maybe that will do something. I don't, I don't know. So, so potential and error. I guess we might as well just try it because... I don't know what else to do at this point. So I need like the wind looking one. And uh, so this era viz. And then I needed. Let me just look up the viz crystals. Uh, it's not there. I needed the era and I needed it looked like armor almost. Let me go all the way back into this. Oh no, it's like a lightning bolt. Like it's like Zeus grabbing a lightning bolt. Um, I'll look one more time at these viz and there's definitely nothing like that in there. So it's gonna be another, uh, I gotta jump through here until I find something that has it, which Ardite has it. But I don't really have enough of Ardite to actually be using it. Black Quartz has it. I got plenty of that. So I will take that and I will take these. So if I drop 5 and 5, and then I might as well grab... Uh, let me get a Steel. I will get us 1 Mana Steel, and I'm going to get us a piece of Iron. Because I don't know if there's going to be anything different. Like I said, this is just none of this stuff that I'm doing is working for this. So I'm going to try absolutely everything that I can. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And throw one of those in. And it just ate my mana steel. So that did not work because I didn't put what I needed in there. But I'll throw my iron and it didn't work because it didn't, yeah. So, I got a whole bunch of stuff in there now, but nothing's what I need it to be. So, I don't know how to progress past this because I thought that it was just like, hey, do this and uh, make that and then it's going to work. But it's like, no, doesn't want to work. Doesn't want to do what it's supposed to be doing. So... I don't know how we're going to progress past this because the only way for me to get that, uh, uh, what is it? Native copper cluster. Where is it at? Um, nickel. This is all of them. Oh, it's right there. Native copper cluster. The only way to get it is by getting it out of a crucible. That is the only way to make this. So I have to get the metal purification working if I am going to try and uh, get through the rest of this. So what is the... Oh, I got one of my contracts. Because I went to the end, I'm able to claim this. I didn't kill really any. I got to kill the Ender Dragon 10 times for this quest apparently. Didn't realize that. Um, yeah, that's whatever. Uh, a stone sword. Wow, look at that. Uh, one attack damage. Well, I really needed that. So, I'm going to get rid of all this stuff. And, uh, yeah. I don't know what else I'm going to be doing. Because that's not working. Uh, I tried to get this villager trade center, but I realized that I needed to actually have a villager, a villager and a mob imprisonment tool in order to work it. 
because I wanted to try to see if I could build that in order to trade a uh, a villager three emeralds for a bottle of frost fire, but it did not uh, didn't work like that. Sadly, um, I'm gonna look through my money. I got two million dollars actually because I completed. Uh, let me go back into here. I completed uh, the side mod. I completed that in full, so I got $2 million for completing that. I can get, uh, if I go through and start finishing up some of these other ones, like if I finished up all the AgriCraft and I finished up, uh, what's one of the other ones? Like a Master Chef in making all of these. I'm not going to be getting a reward, but when you get like group ones like this, I can click on these and get millions for claiming them. Now, I can claim them all at any point. I just have to click the button, but I'm going to wait until I'm actually done with them to claim them. But since I have $2 million right now, I'm going to say I'm going to just send it by us. Uh, I don't know if I should buy us auction house crates or if I should buy us lost crates. I'm going to say let's start with some lost crates. And I'm going to buy 10 of them, which is going to cost me $95,000. But right now, I mean, we got two, 2 million. So we can kind of afford a little bit. So I got a leaf blower, a magical hood, a morb with a demon in it, a whale... A weather egg, which completed a task for us. A walrus. Uh, Bob's year uncle ranks berry. A spider sword. Another nether star generator. And some dark matter. Okay, I'll take some dark matter. I am absolutely fine with having some dark matter. Um, yeah, I don't want it to start storming right now, so I don't need that. Uh, a leaf blower. So it does... Oh, it breaks plants. Interesting. So, uh... I don't know if I ever showed this either. I got this voodoo poppet. From, uh, killing the wither. And I don't know what... I mean, it prevents fall damage. Uh, fall dying, I should say. So I won't fall to my death, but I got, I, I mean, I got the, uh, this upgrade all the way up. Uh, which one is it? This one. So I won't die. I'll always survive. So, I mean, I think that's okay. I don't think I'll need it, but, uh, you know what? Since I did that and I only spent, I'm going to buy some more. We're going to buy us. We're going to get a little frivolous here with our money. We're going to buy 32 of them, but that's still going to leave us with $1.6 million. So, Pulsating Iron, Apprentice's Ring, uh, Viz Discount, nice, uh, Diamondite Crystal Block, a Stone Leonard Statue, White Wool, Flux Infused Shield, a Diamond Sword, Obsidian stick, okra, Kev's lost chest, a diamond drill. I was actually wanted to make one of those. A vending storage attachment, a bouncing Betty. That sounds like a really dumb idea, but I want to put it outside. <laughs> uh, void crystal block, a focus pouch, illager banner. I'll throw that up. Uh, metallurgist's key. A teleport stone, dark steel, creeper cookies, Kev Sky Boy, uh, an M, an IMS uh, that I can also put outside. We got another walrus. We got some speed upgrades. Another interconnect, a specter pickaxe, an ancient sword, red matter now, a wand of animation. An enchanted book of some sort, another enchanted book, and a charm of undying. Now, I gotta throw some stuff away because I am, uh, I got too much stuff here. Uh, right click blocks to animate them. I don't know what that's gonna do for me. Uh, 
Sieve Efficiency 4. Enchant Sieve Efficiency. I didn't even know this was an upgrade. No description can be found. Please ask the author. What? How do I use this? How do I enchant a sieve? I want... I, I think I need to know this now. Uh, I'm going to throw the rest of this stuff in here. Um, actually, I want to get that pouch back. Because I think that's one that I can open. No, it gives me... It's a belt. I don't know how that works, but I'll, I'll look at it. So, let's throw all this stuff in here. A mystical object created by ancient race. Hold right click to set a position, then do the same to teleport there. Uh, that sounds like a really good thing to have. Hold right click to set a position, and then do it again to teleport there. Um, I will gladly try to see if I can put that on. Um, we got another key. We got a banner. Um, I don't have enough space to put most of this stuff. I'll put them right there. Uh, I got another ring. Um, I got this eye last time. I don't know what exactly to do with it. Um, I can't put you on in here. Okay. Uh, is this something that I have to actually hold? Okay, so that, I think, just set the location. And it just teleports me straight back. That is something that's going to be quite helpful, I feel like. This is from that, so I can throw that on it for a 5% discount now. I'm fine with that. Uh, this walrus. Is this like a... Uh, yeah. You know what? I'm just going to leave it there. I'm just going to leave it there. I don't care. Uh, we're going to throw this guy. We'll throw you in here because uh, I don't have anything else in here. So you're just going to be... Yeah. We got the gold version of you upstairs. And then we're just going to have that version of you downstairs. So now I've also got this that I can throw my charm in there. And I'm assuming that this is going to act the same as a totem of undying. Uh, I really want to know how to, uh, how to enchant a sieve. Because if I can enchant this sieve with efficiency 5, that would be very nice. I don't know if I just have to, like, break the sieve and... So I can't right-click it onto a sieve, which I didn't think I'd be able to, but... I guess that will take this and it's gonna steal my sieve from me. But that's okay. Let me grab this anvil and then we will get our sieve back. It might help if I spell sieve correctly. And then I need to get uh, my diamond mesh back. Um, uh, where did it go? My mesh is gone. I'm stupid. It's in my inventory. Never mind. Disregard that. Okay. Um... We'll throw this in there, and then, not that, uh, you. You. No, that's not how it works. Localization is key. I don't know how to apply this to my actual sieve. Please ask the author to add, I, I don't, I don't know if this is actually going to work. But if I can figure out a way to actually make it work, that would be uh, very nice. Because it doesn't work in a normal uh, anvil. I don't know if I have to have a special kind of anvil or something. But if I, uh, if I do figure it out, that is going to be something very nice. Five times the efficiency, basically. Uh, but we can throw this in there. We'll throw all this in there. And I keep forgetting that I got to go into this. And we'll throw that on there. I don't know what that belt does exactly. I don't know if that's adding like extra storage or something. I, I really have no idea. Uh, oh, that gave me 64 interconnects when I got that. That is actually insanely helpful 
for when I am going to have to make the tier 2. So uh, that's, that's going to be pretty nice. So I'll claim these and go to here. We got a speed upgrade. Uh, we could go into here. Security graph. I got the bouncing Betty's. I got that. And I think that that is all of them. This is still just like glitching me because it's getting done so fast, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I'm just going to throw you guys in there. I wanted to test this out. I didn't know what this was going to do, and I don't want to mess up my base. So I'm going to head, uh, I'm going to just head right out here. We're going to... Oh, so it actually makes a living block. So it's from the Erebus mod. Oh, God, I thought something happened after I killed it, but it was just a skeleton. Okay, so, I mean... I don't think I'm ever going to need to use that, but I guess it's cool to have. Uh, it gave me the grass block, so I guess that's kind of nice. Uh, so I'm going to throw that stuff in there, and then we can get to opening some of these common crates. Uncom Atomic alloy, that's actually nice. Basic, basic tier installer, I don't know what that does, but... This uh, atomic alloy is going to be pretty nice that I don't have to make. Uh, I have to make at least one less at some point now. Uh, I'm just going to keep on opening some of these because I'm getting a lot of stuff that I just don't have to make now. So I know I'm spending a crap ton of money. I've almost spent a million dollars, but this is actually really saving me some time here. So blue slimy vine, an ender generator, a bed. A blacker lotus. Does that give me one? Yeah, sadly. Uh, an REP. A cursed heart. Creative wireless ultimate terminal. What is this? Uh, stored energy infinite. Linked status unlinked. Um, well, I don't know what to use this on. Uh, installed modules, creative wireless pattern terminal, crafting interface, and fluid terminal. So is this like uh, something that I can link to my... Yeah, I'm assuming that this is something I can link to my applied energistics. And applied... Am I saying that right? Is it applied energistics? Applied energy applied energetics applied energistics i don't know where i was getting that from but i think this is something that can be connected to that and then i, I don't have to make the actual terminal because i got the creative version of it here so that would actually be quite nice difficulty plus 10 i i don't know why i would want to use that but uh i guess i'll just throw it in there frame blocks i got another mystery egg Last time I got my pet, uh, this time I feel like it's not going to be as good. Ooh, another specter coil. I will gladly take that. Naga Fang, Skeleton Key, Totem of Total Death, uh, Obsidian Skull Ring, some, some of those sticks, uh, Psy Metal Ingots, Spectral Helmet, Titanium, Void Seeds, Quibit Cluster Level 1. I don't know what that is. Platinum, Reinforced Alloy, Basic Drawer, a Teleportation Core, Blast Resistance. Okay, another Cursed Heart, a Granite Pebble, Basic Drawers, a Bull Battle Axe. So I got uh, a few different things from that. Uh, blast resistance modifier. Don't really think I'm going to need that right now. I got another coil, which is going to be a huge saver later on. A skeleton key. Uh, I got all kinds of keys that I don't know what to do with. Uh, I got a skull ring. I guess I'll throw you on. I don't know what half of this stuff does. Like this? No idea. That one I'm assuming is going to be like a totem of undying. No idea, and no idea. But, I mean, 
I got them. So I guess I might as well put them on. Uh, right click the ground to make an earthquake. Travel forward, smash. That sounds pretty cool, but it's only nine attack damage. Gone. Quibit cluster. I don't know what this is, but I got a quest done for completing it or making it. Uh, wasn't this one, but I'll claim that. Um, quantum flux right here. Quibit cluster. Don't know. Uh, this I got completed as well. I got that completed. All right. So this is just completing a lot of just random quests for me, which is actually pretty nice. So we're going to throw all that in there. Teleportation core. That's actually quite a nice little gift to us. I'm going to keep that mystery egg in my, uh, in my inventory. Dandelion seeds, painting, whatever that is, a energy upgrade and an iron ingot. So I don't need to hold on to any of these right now. And just for the hell of it, we are going to be buying a couple of more. Um, I think we'll be able to do this. We'll do another, we'll do 25. We won't buy as many. But let's take this and nothing. I got nothing from that. Common crate, bronze, a blue heart, a shovel bandages base essence which is good i got some dirt seeds garden gnomes so we're getting just a lot of random things right now drawer keys uh i got some of these other ones i don't know exactly what they do uh atomic capacitor okay I don't know what that does, but, um, yeah, so I guess let's just open this up, and I guess that's going to be all of it. Smashing 2, and Last Stand 2. So, I'm going to throw all of this stuff away, because I don't need it. Throw into a wishing well. I need to find a wishing well. I don't know where, I don't know where a wishing well would be, but I need to find one. Uh, I'm going to throw all that stuff away. We can close out of there. And then I guess we can go spawn our mystery egg. We're going to spawn it in the same spot we spawned the last one. And it gave us a baby rocket creeper. Is this one going to be nice to us too? He doesn't give us any boost like the other one. I feel like this one's going to try to kill us when it grows up. Because he's not being all lovey-dovey and supporting me. So... I'm going to end him here. And he gave me two firework stars. So Rocket Creeper was slain by me. That is correct. So we got a, actually a lot of stuff done with that. Uh, we don't have any specific things in mind. Except for the fact that I wanted to get that uh, Thumbcraft uh, ingot made. But I could I just, I literally cannot do it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong or if it's something that I literally can't do because of the fact that they changed the crafting recipes. Um, because it tells me in the book it wants me to throw an iron in there to get it, but it tells me to throw a mana steel in there to get it uh, for like a normal crafting recipe. So I don't know. I don't know if I have to do something different with that. Uh, the other thing I was thinking of trying to do is getting this, uh, the storage remotes. I didn't want to do that one. So I'm going to look up the storage remotes here and I wanted to get this one. I think it was that one. Uh, this one, the advanced one. So this one was the ender ingot here. So, a platinum, four ender pearls, four lead, that's easy. And that'll give me four of them. So, that'll give me everything I need to make that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pin this recipe. That'll be the four that we need there. Blaze mesh, not an issue. Um, uh, Nether star, withering soul, block of diamond. This is actually a really easy crafting recipe now. I'll be able to do that, no issue. An end cluster. 
this one will probably be the hardest one to do. So I will have to get Quartus Fruit, which I might actually be able to get. I'm trying to see if there's any other way of getting this. There is not, though. So, off chance of getting it with that, I have a chance of getting it with this, or, yeah, so I don't have, I'd have to go exploring in the end, which I'm going to have to do anyways, so I'm going to have to keep an eye open for that, and I'm just going to have to make two of those, so I just need to get eight, no, no, I only need four of these, and then I'll have everything I need, and I also have to make, obviously, go through the list of uh, making all of these other ones, which are really not that hard to do. Like, this uh, this is all stuff that I've had before. It's uh, pretty easy recipes after this, and we got that, we can get that, no issues, and we've already got this, but we do need the pink slime, which we were not able to get before. So we are going to have to go and explore for that. So, sadly, I'm not able to get as much progress done in this as I would have hoped. But we did manage to get a lot of quests done in opening these crates. Which we're going to end this episode off with opening another 12 of them. Because that will put me roughly at a million dollars. Which we can actually get one more. And get as close as we can to getting that and I will actually buy uh, one of these as well and we're gonna buy two of them that'll put me just under a million dollars and now we got another one of those and see universal block reinforcer level one no idea what that does slimy generator another weather egg looks like we're getting a lot more quests done with this set so, I got this dungeon key. I don't know what that does, but it, uh, one down, three to go advancement. I don't, no idea. But we got a couple things. So, weather eggs, uh, that's apparently a food. I don't need six of these gargoyles. Um, red crystal, cl I don't know what to do with that. Uh, so I'm just going to throw all this away. And... I'm going to close out of this, and I don't remember what the name of that thing was that I just got, but I think I completed a quest in getting it. Yes, Universal Block Reinforcer, so, ooh. Um, yeah, that's a lot of reading. I'm not going to go through all that. So, we'll open these, and that will be the end of it. I'm at 113 levels, and I've been storing my levels in here. So, we'll throw that in there. And, uh, yeah, this is like, if we need levels, we got plenty. So, I level 128 in there. So, I'm gonna end this episode off here. It wasn't as much of a intensive episode as the others. But I wanted to open some crates, get you guys up to speed on the stuff that we missed out on, and just give a breakdown of what I'm trying to get done. And again, literally all of this is just so I can get this slice and splice working, so I can make a farming station. But obviously we're getting a lot of other stuff done along the way. So I do hope you all enjoyed, and if you did, please do leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.